Magka-crash ba ang real estate? Yes or no? Yung primary market, when I say primary market, these are yung galing sa developer, control nila yung supply. Eh. Nagkakaroon lang naman kasi ng crash pag nagkakaroon ng oversupply. Nagkakaroon ng oversupply, konti yung demand, magpapababa ng presyo. If at the start of the pandemic pa lang, matalino yung mga property developers. Eh. Lahat ng projects nila na bago, nagagawin nila, they stopped it. Eh. So what does that mean? Walang over walang oversupply. It means though na konti yung magiging development. It's not as rosy as what people projected it na 2020, 2021, 2022, ito lahat ng mga projects. Some of them, since they're seeing this, kinukontian nila doon. Hi everyone! If you watched the first video, uh, with Charles C. I grilled him talking about dropshipping, Lazada, Shopee. Kung di nyo pa napapanood yun, can watch that there. Pero this time, he's gonna flip the table naman. He's gonna ask me questions. Hindi ko alam ko ano specific questions yun. Pero I do hope that since gusto niya malaman yun, I hope some of you na interested in or want to learn more about it, you get something from it as well. So, take it away. Uh, Charles C. Dropify CEO. Go! Ano nang patakbo ng economy natin. Start itong mag-bear months. Madami nagsasabi no, that it might get better kasi palapit na sa Christmas that some people are also planning to spend also for Christmas. Pero ito, ito paniniwala ko eh. I don't think it will be close to 2019 levels. Pero from an economic standpoint also, I think also that we are already much much better compared to kung nasa tayo na April. Just to share it from an economic point of view, the reason why we are in this mess also was because 90% of the economy was shut down noong April. And up until now, a big part of the economy also, especially those connected to tourism and mass gatherings, are still not really functioning. And lahat yung mga madaming services pa dyan na may physical contact, wala pa rin ngayon yan. You've, you've seen yung mga uh, at least pedicure, manicure, haircuts, they've started to open. Pero even if they're open, wala masyado nagpapagupit. Transactions are still so so low. Eh. Uh, what I think nearing Christmas is of course people of Filipinos will want to celebrate there. That's that's for sure. So attention money will go towards items that can help Filipinos celebrate. Pero since uh, nagbago yung economy, you will you won't see December 23, 24, 25 nagdadagsaan sa mall, uh, sa, sa mall, tsaka nagdadagsaan sa airport para lumabas. I don't think you will see that now. Everything that you're saying about e-commerce is so true. People will order items that will make them enjoy Christmas also either food or things na pag habang nasa bahay sila mas ma-experience nila yung Pasko na mas mabuti. I don't know baka pre- I don't know kung tama to Charles C. Ikaw yung ikaw yung e-commerce guy. There might be a spike up on things that makakatulong sa sa kanila sa pag uh, video okay. I I think that will be something that, uh, that 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 will be something that people will buy. I don't know if it's the mic or it's the or or it's yung more speakers for it or it's yung lights connected to it. But I think the worst in terms of GDP is over because the economy is starting to open up and uh, if you've seen the last disclosures ng government, the cases are big pero somehow it's not already escalating as what we've seen noong July. Wala, I, I don't think we're there. Uh, hopefully, wala na tayo dun. The economy will continually open up eh. So, uh, I don't think we're going back to kung nasan man tayo ng April. Second, yung dollar. Sa so, tingin mo, is it still going go down or katulad sa stocks katulad sa business it's all about supply and demand uh, one of the reasons why uh, mat- mababa yung dollar and mataas yung peso is because there's not a lot of economic activity what do i mean by that one of the reasons why at some point before mataas yung dollar against the peso or ibig sabihin mahina yung peso malakas yung dollar is because malakas yung demand sa dollar meaning madami mga tao nagii-import para maka-import sila yung peso nila pinapalit nila sa dollar para mabili nila yung item na yun using that dollar and i've been saying this all the time one of the biggest things that we import is oil the fact that a lot of people are still not traveling right now using their cars, the demand for oil will be very, very weak. I think it was Shell. They shut down uh, one of their facilities in Batangas already shows how weak the demand is. Oil and petroleum companies have been selling assets that have been connected also to the oil and gas industries show that there will be a weak demand. So why, why, am, I, why am I saying this? I don't know h- how low it will go, but what I know is this. When the economy starts to pick up again, meaning lahat ng 
dati connected sila sa construction, nakita nila okay na ulit, they will start buying. Yung isa sa pinakamalaking import din kasi yung mga machines eh, na either ginagamit sa construction or ginagamit sa whatever businesses nila. That that was important prior to this pandemic. Wala yun. Uh, kotse. <laughs> Siyempre wala na tayo sa, sa kung nasan tayo noong April na na parang sobrang daming taong hindi bumibili ng kotse. Pero I think weak pa rin eh kasi yung, yung uncertainty uh, that's going on kung may kotse ka pa naman, tapos nakita mo, hindi mo naman ginagamit. Kahit plano mo bumili sana ng middle of the year, you can say, ah, next year na lang, tignan ko muna yung sitwasyon eh. So, when economic activity uh, will go up, the demand for the dollar will go higher. When the demand for the dollar will go higher, fr- from 48 right now, I believe it will go back again. It will go back higher. So, kung yung tanong mo, yung underlying question mo dun, is it okay ba na kung may peso ka palit mo sa dollar ngayon, Ako, yun ang gagawin ko. Hindi ako, di ko gagawin yung baliktad na may dollar ako ipapalit ko sa peso. Peso kasi the time to have done that was probably two years ago nung nasa 53, 54 yung dollar. Pero ngayon, kung may dollar ka, better keep it in dollar kasi, kasi pag pinarit mo siya ngayon, may, may currency loss ka na pwede makuha unless kailangan na kailangan mo yung pera. Pero kung may peso ka tapos hindi mo gagamitin tapos tulog lang siya, a- idea that you can actually do is 48, 47, then hintayin mo lang when it returns to 50, 51, you, are, you you get some sort of margins off of that. Magka-crush ba ang real estate, yes or no? Yung primary market, when I say primary market, these are yung galing sa developer, control nila yung supply eh. Nagkakaroon lang naman kasi ng crash pag nagkakaroon ng oversupply. Nagkakaroon ng oversupply, konti yung demand, magpapababa ng presyo. If at the start of the pandemic pa lang, matalino yung mga property developers eh. Lahat ng projects nila na bago, nagagawin nila, they stopped it eh. So what does that mean? Walang over walang oversupply. It means though na konti yung magiging development. It's not as rosy as what people projected it na 2020, 2021, 2022 eto lahat ng mga projects. Some of them since they're seeing this, kino konti an nila doon. Yung growth will be slower. I think yung kung saan magkakaroon ng volatility sa secondary market. When I say secondary market, ito yung mga taong bumili ng condo, pwedeng malaki yung kita nila tapos bumili sila siguro tatlo. Tapos hindi nil, kala nila they can sustain they can sustain it. Kesa marimata, mawala yung bahay nila, mawala yung condo nila, they'll probably sell it. Or sino pa? Yung mga taong bumili ng property dati, binili nila 5 million, value nyo ngayon 10 million, kailangan nila yung pera. Kahit ibenta nila ng 8 million yun, they will still make money. Eh. So, I, I believe that there will be some projects, some units na medyo lower. Pero I don't think it's at a point yet na systemic siya kasi na control yung supply eh. Kung gusto nila maghanap ng ganun, they can look at yung mga areas na tinatch ng Pogo. Kasi since there's a lot of Pogos that have left, yung mga area na yun, yun yung mga natamaan. And there will be people that kesa matenga to, I'd rather set it lower or parenta ko to ng, ng mura. Pero depende kasi sa segment eh. Kasi for example, yung BPO segment yun, ang lakas nila eh. They're thriving. Uh, if you're talking about warehouses, warehouses are booming. So, I don't think anything that's real estate connected to warehouse magka-crash din yun eh. Anything connected to most likely uh, leisure, anything that will be, that used to be a brick and mortar, dati dun, nag, dun bumibili ng mga sapatos damit mga tao, I think that will, that, that will be hit eh. So, you can't really expect rental rates to go up in that area. Kung nasan yung barbershop namin, hindi kami open. Duri mo, Mark, simula March hanggang ngayon, hindi kami open. So, kung sino man yung landlord namin, they can't really expect na magtataas sila ng presyo. There might be a chance pa nga magbaba sila ng presyo kasi kung wala nagre-rent dun, how can we earn? So, you ask me about the economy, no? people have so many theories paano magre-rebound. Ako, paniniwala ako, uh, yung shape ng rebound natin will be K, letter K. Some people say kasi V, some people say U, some people say W, some people say L, ako K. Letter K meaning, there will be some segments that will do very, very well. E-commerce, telecoms, etc. There will be some sectors that will do very, very bad also. Uh, lahat ng uh, medyo connected sa brick and mortar na baka hindi naman sila kaila, hindi na ganun kalak- kalakas yun, uh, they won't do so well. So, uh, from a property standpoint, uh, there will be winners, there will be losers. Pero one thing is very evident also that uh, yung mga banko as early as March pa lang eh, linagay na nila sa balance sheet nila, nag-alat na sila ng pera na may mga taong hindi makakapagbayan ng loan. So regardless of what that loan is, cars, 
houses, business loans, etc. They already pursued, they already saw it. Sinama na nila yun as a loan loss provision na et, eto yung portion para at least pag nangyari yun, may pondo na kami na pang salo dun. And I think part of that also is the property sector. And if, if I'll, I'll end it with this also na kasama dun, madaming bumibili ng property OFW eh. Eh, madaming OFW din na umuwi kasi wala silang income. So, since wala silang income, yun, uh, worst case, mawawala yun, it will go to the bank. The bank will shoulder it. Bibenta nila yun as a foreclosed property or it will be sold uh, lower sa mga nagmamadali. Okay, yung mga premier na property, hindi masyado bumababa yun. I don't see volatility in that area. Kasi yung yung mayaman, mayaman na talaga sila. So either hindi talaga sila masyadong natamaan or hindi sila nagmamadali, nagbebenta. You will I I think you will see more sa gitna na na area. Those properties connected to that na sila yung freelancer na natamaan, sila yung ano na uh, sige, rent na lang ako, give up ko na to. Yun. So I I think that's where uh, you will see prices lowering and which is also happening right now. Madami nagbebenta ngayon. So I hope you guys guys got a lot from this no. By the way, kung di niyo alam si Charles C CEO of Dropify, if you want to learn more about Lazada, drop shipping, selling it via Shopee and Lazada, go back our previous video and dun lahat yon or go back to the other video nung ginawa namin nung March or March April also and if you want to know more about him, description below Dropify. Any words of encouragement sa mga tao? Since, ano na tayo eh, uh, seven months na. Seven months na nasa lockdown. Kahit ako parang, ano ba ito, wala, 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 wala nagyayari. Ako, Star, Starcraft lang. Starcraft. Parang there's there's nothing to, parang, ano gagawin mo? Dati excited ka na, okay to ha, pag If I earn this, makaka-travel ako ng October. Pwedeng white Christmas sa December. Ngayon, anong, 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 gagawin, anong gagawin mo? Any, any words of encouragement? Start learning new skills. Yun ang masabi ko. Then, uh, find a good opportunity uh, like dropshipping. Uh, read many stuff on the uh, internet. And then, check out, talk to us. Uh, sa Dropify, you can join our groups. Kahit di ka magbayad sa amin, just join our groups. So we speak hope and blessing. Ako magsabi, I, 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 I want to be an ambassador for hope and uh, speaking positivity. No? But to tell you frankly, guys, may paraan. Okay, so it's not the end of the world. Marami ring nag e-commerce tumutumba rin ngayon. Hindi, hindi lahat nagiging successful. So uh, I, I just want to speak life. And there's hope. Always hope. Just believe. And si Lord naman hindi tayo pinapabayaan eh. So seven months, think mo, lusog-lusog pa rin yung Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> Pero at the end of the day, guys, keep on fighting. Just learn. Develop your 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 skills and talent. Mm, galing. Well said. May naisip tuloy ako, aabusin kita last question bago bago I put this to close. Da- dapat ako tatanungin pero ikaw tatanungin ko. Ba't sobrang yaman mo? Ano naging sikreto mo? Hindi, hindi ako mayaman. <laughs> Pag sinabi ko mayaman lang. <laughs> Ito yung heart ko no. I'm willing to lose everything. Sabi ko, mm. my my identity is not attached my business. This is not me. I'm willing to tomorrow I don't know who will be my clients. I do not know. I do not know what will happen. Pag gumera dito tayo, gumera sa Pilipinas, mawala lahat. So, ano na ako, yun yung identity ko. There's no value attached to me yung wealth. Uh, I'm just letting you know na I'm surrendered. Sabihin ko, I, I've seen people's businesses in a snap na wala. Ito, itong pandemic is just proven na so, so it, it does, if you surrender and if you trust and believe that God will provide, the next day ako, I don't know who will be my clients the next day. Guys, panoorin nyo lang. Dami niya Facebook Live. Ako hindi ako naging Facebook Live. Pero siya, dami niya Facebook Live. Panoorin nyo. He answers all of your questions via Facebook Live. So, yun. Maraming salamat to all of you who are watching this. I hope nag-enjoy kayo. This is medyo casual lang din. Uh, but I hope that nakapagbigay din ng value sa inyo. At I hope that whatever Charles asks, uh, yun din yung mga tanong na gusto niyo malaman. So, to everyone, I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. Charles C., thank you so much. God bless you all. Links are in the description below. Bye, everyone.